Kenny Omega and Kushida confirmed their departure from New Japan Pro Wrestling. It must be a big blow to the fans of New Japan and also for everyone who were watching Wrestle Kingdom. We saw a great show with great matches but at the same time after the show was done we didn't see anything significant on New Year's Dash and now we get the news that Kushida is leaving as he took part in the press conference done by New Japan saying this was an extremely tough condition made with Mei, Sugabayashi and Kidani. It was a very big decision decision in my life and I'm thankful they understood. I will head overseas to see the world of pro wrestling. After that he said this, I don't know why I'm crying. He explained this is my decision and I'm not sad I made it. These are happy tears. If you look closely in the video, those seems like sad tears. It must be tough for him after 8 years in New Japan with great matches in the junior heavyweight division. He basically was the face of junior heavyweights in New Japan and I talked about this before. I said you know they don't have much juniors in New Japan. They have Taiji Ishimori, Bushi and Shingo Takagi, Roppongi 3K guys, Sho and Yo, I don't think they're going to split up. You also have El Desperado and Kenomaru, with Will Ospreay wanting to be a heavyweight and Marty Skrull being kind of exclusive with Ring of Honor. There is also Robbie Eagles who was tagging with Taiji Ishimori for a while. Maybe they're gonna make him join the junior division. Also, on the other hand, we have Kenny Omega announcing on Tokyo Sports that he's leaving. Kenny Omega said, if I go to WWE, the fans there will be pleased. And also, if I go to AEW, the fans there will be happy. I want to be in a place where I'm going to be happy. Either way, the future looks bright for Omega, as Kenny Omega's contract will end at the end of this month. So this indicates that he won't be able to show up at the Royal Rumble to be a surprise entrant, but he can show up the week after that and do a surprise angle with one of the wrestlers on Raw. But at the same time, Kushida's contract will end at the end of the month too. So I don't think we're gonna see him on 205 Live or NXT in January. Also Kenny said this, reflecting back on it, the Wrestle Kingdom 13 match was about to decide the protagonist of New Japan. I take full responsibility for the loss. There is no real place for me to fit. So it's best for me not to be in New Japan Pro Wrestling. I can't be there working under Tanahashi. I don't think he surpasses me. Don't think he's better. If we can, I want to face him again. But I need time away not only from New Japan. So if Kenny Omega goes to AEW, there is a chance that he would work with New Japan. However, according to Dave Meltzer, New Japan made the decision to work with Ring of Honor. So that doesn't look good for AEW, unless the Young Bucks and Cody, they find a way to work with Ring of Honor. They have a very good relationship with ROH. They would be able to strike a good partnership with Ring of Honor and New Japan with them all working together. The future is kind of mysterious in front of us right now, but I assure you in the next month, especially beginning on February, we're going to get a lot of news. And tomorrow's double or nothing rally just happening walking distance from a SmackDown show, the Elite will reveal a lot of information that we want to know. There are rumors of Goldberg and Chris Jericho being there for the conference. So there is a lot to see and sink our teeth in. With that being said guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Mention in the comments below what do you think will happen in the future. Subscribe to the channel, it will help us a lot. And if you want to check more content like this, you can click on this video right here. Take care guys. Dispatch. Podcast. Dispatch. Podcast. Dispatch. Dispatch. Dispatch.